do that or you're just that much too long. <laughs> Uh, I presume he's here. I don't know. Very at night. <laughs> <laughs> a little trouble getting to sleep. It was late. I mean, I could sleep, but uh, I think fairly well switched over here. And I'll even have a little set of tablets that you can take there. Year to each day for 12 hours before bedtime here. And eight hours before bedtime here. Then one and a half hours before bedtime here. I did that basically yesterday. I bet you have somebody on the staff who schedules all this. <laughs> no, I, I found the answer was to set my clock for this time. I did that to begin the day yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Well, you want to take a walk? Okay. Well, I said we're going over to. Okay, you're going over to my place. All right. Let me ask you, you, did, you fellas just didn't come that way, did you? The three of us left in the car. <laughs> we didn't think it was very far. I walked far up without my coat. How about that? <clears throat> now, you put yours on. Put your coat on. Well, oh, yeah. No, you just don't have your wife with you. <laughs> <laughs> She'd have me in a fur hat if she could. <laughs> but I just not. happened to have one. She'd be looking out. Would, would you like to Oh, I think they've distorted what everyone has said so far. But, but Bud and I have addressed it. Uh -huh. well, I tell you, I read the clips this morning, and particularly the Washington Post, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, they're pro Gorbachev. <laughs> they're not, <laughs> we're, so we're we're known that for a long time on our side. Yeah, they might have chosen sides. It's not new. Yeah, they're getting a good shot of this. Let's move over where we're All the way back to the first press conference, where I started with the Russians lying and so forth. No one ever prints that I was asked a direct question. Could we believe the Russians? And I said, well, all I can do is quote you their own words. They have said there is no immorality in anything that furthers the cause of socialism. And that they reserve unto themselves the right to lie, to, to do anything that will further socialism. That is not a sin. That was my answer. And now, 
over the five years. It's been down that I came into office and rushed right out to denounce the Russians as liars and so forth. But I tell you, this, we ought to have one of these sometime, choose a place and bar the press. Tell them they'll know what happened when they get home. That's where the economic summit started, but they didn't stay that way. I know. Um, that's what we what he did. And when we got through, then we said, all right, I guess what we're going to say to the press. Go to it. But they were totally But I was talking about this thing. Who is this senior White House advisor? For example, outright plain lies. I don't know whether it was a phone call to the plane. I certainly didn't know. But the lie that on, on the plane that I was furious. And the way that started. And a, uh, one word now. One way to view us. One word as well. Five more words, Mr. President, and finish out that sentence. Saving them all for Gorbachev. <laughs> Mr. President, the administration official yesterday suggested that letter did amount to sabotage. Have you changed your mind on that? I'm wondering if that individual is not the figment of someone in the press of imagination. You're annoyed. You suggest that letter does no damage or doesn't affect the summit in any way. Is that what you're saying? You said that. And I hope you've been briefed already by Bud and some others about that, and that there, there is no foundation in anything that is being said about it. Lights. Thank you. Thank you. Are you okay? The light was hitting the glass. for two American presidents. Let's make sure that that happens. Well, he's been very ill, said a heart attack. His wife is the one that did all these flowers like this. His wife did all those flowers. Is it place. Place. Well, she's the one that did it for him. But getting him, uh, so that before you leave, the motorway takes a few. What time did everybody get up? Okay. All right, well, we've got about 20 to 25 quarter minutes. Seven. Quarter to seven. Quarter to eight. Mm -hmm. Mr. The Secretary, would you sleep? like to? Quarter to five, no. unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I seem to be the only one here that's doing that four-day thing that the doctor worked out, the, the diet, the alternating feast and fast and so forth. I've been doing that, and I have to tell you, it was a little later last night, but... Decaf? Yes, sir. All right. Because one of the things also is you're to avoid caffeine on that. But yesterday was the last day, and I have to say, it must have made a difference. I, w I got up, I woke up, completely awake at 9.15, which was fairly close to getting on their time. And uh, part of it is getting yourself on the meal schedule before you get here. So, with 
I said, I kind of compromised a little later than we normally have dinner and said, I timed it to be 8.30 their time here when we had dinner on the, on the plane. What time did you go to sleep last night? I thought we should stay right where we were over there. You know what? a nice space on shelter. No, it's good.
Bonsoir.